overstanding grief. This word, overstand, borrowed from the language of Rastafari, may sound like a strange word at first. We are taught in life how to understand the environment we are in from a young age. We are taught how to understand, adhere to and accept as truth all that we are told. And we understand how to move and relate with others within the confines of our understanding. However, to understand is to bow to the authority or standing of another. To understand grief is to acquiesce to a higher authority that presumes to know us better than we know ourselves. We are then expected to accept prescribed dictates of what grief is, how we should feel, and the ways in which we should deal with it. In the West, grief has been widely viewed in the negative and any extended demonstration of emotion is commonly viewed as distasteful, outlandish even, and has been actively hidden from view. Our grief is almost as taboo as death itself. To overstand our grief then is to bring it out into the open and let it be. We are then free to express our innermost thoughts or feelings. We are able to move from the lower energies of them. When we are able to recognise where we are in our grief, we are able to identify our needs as opposed to relying on others to oversee our way forward. Death and grief are both entirely natural happenings that are bound to occur at some point in our lives. To overstand death and grief is to recognise their processes and allow them to guide our healing. To overstand is to know that everything is temporary and it's okay.